What's up guys, Mad Bagger Mike here with madbagger.com. Guess what we're going over today, can you tell? Yep, we're gonna be going over the Mulan Castle Scene Series by Loungefly, all three pieces we have here in the house, and we're gonna go one by one into detail. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so the very first piece we're gonna be going over today for the Mulan Castle Scene Series is gonna be the mini backpack. Now this one is really cool and it does have some light features that we're gonna show you in some close-up videos here later on, but let's go ahead and let's dive into details and let's check out what this bag is made of. Okay, this is gonna be the Mulan series backpack for the Castle Scene series. Now you are gonna have some characters here on the front. They're gonna be a lot smaller than some of the other ones we've seen in some of the other bags, but you are gonna have Mushu and Cricky right there in the very bottom corner there of the bag, right below the Japanese cherry blossoms. On the opposite side, you are gonna have the Disney Loungefly enamel badge, which is gonna be done in black and gold, which is okay, it blends okay nicely. And then you're gonna have this really cool laser cut along the Japanese cherry blossoms there, which is gonna hide a pocket. Now this pocket, I do have to say, is a lot smaller than some of the other pockets we've seen on the bags. It's definitely not the size that can fit a cell phone, but you're definitely gonna be able to fit some smaller things in there like a chapstick, cards, think of things like that. Unless you have like a really small size flip phone, you're definitely not gonna be fitting an iPhone or anything really big in that front pocket, but it's nice that they did a pocket because it gives us that little bit of extra storage. They could have completely axed it all together and just done it flat, but I like that they are at least putting a pocket there on the front of this one. Now, the side on this bag here are gonna be done, uh, of course, in vegan leather, and you are gonna have these side pockets. So that's something that they've been pretty continuous with this year. I've only seen maybe one or two bags that haven't had pockets on the sides this year. Okay, you're gonna have the Emperor's Castle here, which is gonna be a vegan leather applique. And then you're gonna have these fireworks which are printed on. Now, a cool thing with the fireworks on this is there are little LEDs inside three of the fireworks. You're gonna have the yellow firework, the blue firework, and the red firework. Okay, so unlike the, uh, the um, Little Mermaid uh, LED bag they gave us earlier this year, instead of just doing white LEDs, they did color LEDs in there, which I think is great because it, it makes the fireworks just even look that much better. So for the yellow, you're gonna have like kind of like a yellow LED, blue LED for the blue, and a little bit of a red LED there for the uh, red LED firework. Now, we're gonna show you that in a nice close-up video here in a couple seconds so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so since this is from the Castle Scene series, this, uh, they did do a crossbody and a wallet. And pretty much for this whole series of bags, they've been styling both front and back. So on the back of this one, they did a nice full graphic there of two of our main characters, Li Shang and Mulan. Very, very nice. Looks like original artwork on this. You got them kind of in the, uh, kind of like the uh, Japanese uh, garden there with the cherry blossoms coming off the side there. You got the cool bridge in the background. Nice full color back panel on this. Okay, so this one is from the core catalog of Loungefly, which means it does have the padded straps and the nice heavy duty Loungefly zipper pulls. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. I'll show you guys the battery compartment. Now, pretty much all of Loungefly bags that have some sort of lights, they automatically come with the batteries and the backpack is pretty much switched in the off position, so I haven't had any problems with dead batteries. But um, uh, there's not like a little pull tab thing. You just have to go in there and switch the switch and it should turn on. Now the lining on this, they did a nice full color lining. You're gonna have kind of like those lanterns. You're gonna have some Japanese cherry blossoms. And if you look really, really closely, you're gonna see Cricky is also on the inside lining. Now this one does have an open pocket along the back which is pretty consistent for this year for 2022. Now, if you have any older lounge fly bags from 2021, 2020, there were some bags where they did without pockets or some bags that did with zipper pockets. Uh, pretty much this year, you're getting some sort of pocket on the inside, which in my book is always a good thing. Okay, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the LED features on this bag. We'll get a nice close up shot of it so you can see how that works. Okay guys, so here are the LED features on the Mulan bag. As you can see, there is a yellow LED, a blue LED, and a red LED. Now that's all powered by a little battery compartment inside the backpack. Okay guys, the next bag in this collection is a very, very unique crossbody. I haven't seen Loungefly do a shape like this before, so it's kind of pretty cool. It's kind of pretty cool. <laughs> that's, that's a new word I just made, right? 
It's, kind of, it's pretty cool. I never seen anything like this. I was kind of curious when I saw this in the actual uh, catalog on how this was gonna work out. I thought this was gonna be a lot more silky of a material so it wasn't gonna hold its shape really well. But it is like a vegan leather material. It's just gonna be a lot softer. Uh, so it does kind of have that cinch look to it. Uh, so for this, the crossbody bag, pretty much a lot of the uh, seams that you see on the backpack, you're gonna get here on the, uh, on the crossbody. So here, instead of having them underneath the cherry blossoms, you have them kind of tucked within them, which the Japanese cherry blossoms kind of create a border along the bottom side of the bag. You do have Mushu and Cricky there. This is an applique, you can see it's kind of circled here, it's all stitched. And this is where it goes to a little bit of the softer vegan leather. Now this thing does have a cinch. So you can see how that works out. You open it up like that. And then you've got the little cinch where you just kind of pull it. Got both ones here. Pull it and you get that cinch look to it. And I will show you the strap as well. So for this one, it's a cinch closure and a magnetic snap closure. Here is the crossbody strap for this bag. Nice, all, uh, nice contrasting kind of dark red color. Gold hardware, it's got the nice clasps. This bag doesn't have a handle, so it pretty much is gonna be a crossbody bag. So you're gonna have to use the crossbody strap. I know some of the crossbody bags we do, or that they do, are gonna have the strap, and then you have the option to take the strap off and just do it as a handle bag. But for this one, that'd be a lot more difficult because it doesn't have a handle. So I probably wouldn't take the strap off, but if you wanted to, you could. Okay, the back side, you're gonna have Li Sheng and Mulan there in the bottom corner. And you do have the nice Lounge Flight Disney enamel badge on the back. And again, black and gold on this. The lining on this uh, bag is pretty much gonna be the same as the backpack. You're gonna have Cricky there along uh, amongst the uh, lanterns, the Japanese cherry blossoms, nice dark red color on this. Now, one thing I did notice on this crossbody bag, this one doesn't have any type of interior compartment. So if you need some sort of separator for your things, this might not be an option for you, but if you're okay with uh, just being able to have one large compartment, then this is a great choice. And it's a really unique shape. I've never seen it before. Okay, this collection also consisted of the wallet, three piece sets on all of the uh, Disney Castle Scene Series backpacks by Loungefly. Now, this one here is gonna be a three quarter size zip around wallet. Again, it's gonna blend really, really nicely because it pretty much has the same scenes as the backpack and the wallet, just in different scale. So for this here, you're gonna have the Emperor's Castle, you're gonna have the fireworks, and you're gonna have Cricky and Mushu down there in the bottom corner. Now, one thing to note, on the crossbody and on the wallet, you do not have LED or glow in the dark features. So if you want, if you really, really want the LED features, you're gonna have to go with the backpack. Okay, backside of this wallet, we'll have Li Shang and Mulan. Nice full color panel. Very, very crisp graphic. Very, very vibrant colors. They did an excellent job on the printing on this. Uh, inside on this one here, let's go ahead and take a look. They did a nice dark red interior. Now this one here is gonna have one, two, three, four pockets, along with the ID slot. And then you also have a slot for cash. Now this one does have the same lining as the backpack and the crossbody, which will have Cricky and the lanterns. But just keep in mind that the lining placement is different in every bag. So as you can see here with my wallet, I got Cricky like front and center on that one. But he might be a little bit off to the side or you might not even be able to see him that much on other wallets. It's gonna be random placement because the fabric is literally printed and then when they're manufacturing and sewing it in, the, wherever the kind of character lands is kind of where they land. Okay guys, this is one of the amazing bags from the Castle Scene series from Loungefly which they are all available on our, on our website at madbagger.com, or you can download our mobile app and shop our app that way. I also go live from the app and from the website, so you can join me on the live shows. We talk about Disney, I show products, we kind of hang out, we talk about the movies that are coming out and all that kind of fun stuff. So make sure to join us there. 
Now, if you like this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button so I know that you guys are watching and you wanna to continue to see more amazing review videos for Loungefly. Okay guys, we will see you again on the next Loungefly Review Live. Later.